All right, YouTube. Um, I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, instructional video here on how to plumb a rodent rack. And you see here is a rack that I just finished building. This is a 30 slot um, rat maternity rack. It also work well as a, uh, a mouse rack here. The difference being I have half inch um, wire fabric up here and down here, these last two levels I have quarter inch. These two I'm going to use for mice, just for uh, crawler mice for the hatchling ball pythons. And the reason why I'm building this rack is ball python hatching season is just around the corner and I am upping my production to keep up with all this year's babies. Um, so what I'm showing you guys now is the is the process by which I plumb the rack. This is actually using a new little thing here I've never, never done before. Let's see if I can get you. Okay, you see here the, the front legs of the rack are pushed back a little bit. Okay, and so normally I'll run the, the piping out here over this corner and just go around, but this time I decided to uh, use a drill bit and run a little track for the pipe. Not that it matters, but just because I'm always trying to find a little bit cool cool way of doing things. So uh, just a little different, and I think it looks, it looks kind of cool. So to plumb this rack, I have a hundred feet of um, tubing here. This is 3 16 flex tubing. All this equipment's um, available at, hold on so I can get a video of this, uh, at AG Select. Dot com. I'm not sure if that's coming in clearly or not. Then I, I drilled all my, my tracks and I pulled the tubing in from the start at the bottom and I just ran it, just like you see here, up through every level, okay? Until it gets up here to the top. So once I get it all pulled in here, I see I have excess here that I haven't I haven't yet pulled out of it. I'll pull it out as I'm, as I'm actually going through. I'm going to start here and start clipping it. I'll see, I'll snip it here, put a T-bracket in, just like what you see right here, and then run my nipple up and over to the wire fabric. I'm going to do that here. Clip it, T-bracket, over, clip it, T-bracket, over. Same thing, all the way down and removing this excess and clipping it down like this to hold it in place as I go until I get all the way to the bottom. And if you see here, I have completed um, taking the excess out of the 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 you know the tubing that I had wired and um, cutting it up, getting the T's T brackets in and pinning it down with clips. I'm going to show you here what these T brackets look like. Okay, T bracket. You can see how basically it's it will create a watertight seal on its own. You don't have to use anything. All you have to do is cut the tubing and push it onto the ends here. See how it's tapered there? It creates a watertight seal. Works great. And then the clips. I'm going to pick up a clip. Okay, here's a clip. And here's a... Just like it looks like here, you're, you're pinning it over the tubing and putting the screw through the holes there to tighten it, holding the camera here, so, and pinching the tubing and holding it tight against the wood. So it actually turned out great. I'm really happy with how this looks. You know, it's, it's one of those things where you take pride in your work as it would function on a much uh, less fancy scale than this, but still kind of fun to figure out a new way of doing things and uh, improving it in any way possible. So. And you see here, it goes all the way up, and it, here's my end. Okay, he's going to come up here, and here's the excess. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to plug it into the bucket at the top to feed water to the entire rack. Oh, and one other thing I'm going to show you here before I finish this clip is at the very end, I have a flush nozzle, which is something I can basically loosen this. It's on a little tight right now, but... Loosen this and flush any debris out of the lines um, that's necessary to just clear it out if it's if it's a little bit clogged up. But you see here, I have the the nipples now attached to the rack, and I'm going to show you one of these here. 
um, by itself. The sun's a little glaring a little bit, but if you look here, um, this is a nipple. The rodent pushes on the tip here to release water. It has a little um, rubber, how do you call it, rubber drum inside there, I guess. And uh, to adjust the flow, the water comes in through here through the pipe, of course. See how that's seated down in there. To adjust the flow, this is you take a pair of pliers and you twist this tip right here. And that is going to take the flow from completely off to a steady stream when, when the nipple is touched here. Or uh, I like to do it as a, as a drip, about one drip per second or two drips a second, somewhere in that range. Anything more than that, it's coming out faster than the rat can drink it. And it'll end up making a mess on the bottom of the tub. But uh, um, any less than that, and it's probably more work than it should be for the rat to get what they need. So, see here, these are ready to go now. This is the, the, the tea bracket I put in, so I put a small um, portion of hose there with the nipple attached to it, and I'm going to put this down through here, through the half inch screen here. Actually, let's see, let's, let's do this one. I'll just show you this one I just did. The, the camera probably is not going to be able to focus too well. Nipple here, it's coming over the top of the t hair and down through the screen. And my focus is probably really off, but I hope you can get the idea. Without, uh, it's a little tighter than I like, without running into that issue. So, there you go, there's one done. Go right here, flip another one down in there. See how it just holds itself in there? It's got a little notch to hold itself into the wire. And the reason why these are all still hanging out is I'm going to adjust the flow on them all before I put them in there, just so they're ready to go when I pop them down in. You see here, I have a bucket. This is a general Home Depot five-gallon bucket here, and I have the the nozzle here at the bottom. Look inside. What I did was I drilled the hole for this with a a spade bit here. This is 11 16 spade bit. And I drilled a hole about an inch above the bottom of the uh, the bucket. And the reason why is because if there is any debris or sediment in the bottom of your water system, you don't want it to flow out of into your into your tubing. You want it just to settle below the spigot. So that's why I put it up just a little bit. And it's ready to go. See here it's sandwiched with the nut on the inside, sandwiching the tube into the pipe and there's a rubber um, little gasket there, a little rubber ring that's holding it um, sealed. Also got a shut off on here so you can shut off your system if you wish and our 3 16 rubber tubing is going to go right there so I'm going to show you guys that now. Top of our rack. I put a little landing area up here for it to to sit on and put an extra board in here just to give it a little bit more of a seat. On there. This is pretty tall so you're going to get a different view. Turn this a little bit and my tube is going to seat directly onto, can't do it on camera because I'm holding the camera, it's going to seat directly onto this uh, end here, this male end. And then fill you bucket up with, uh, with water. Make sure your, your shut off is not off and your rack will be ready to go. It's just a matter of getting water into the lines and, and letting the rats drink it. Also suggest you put a lid on top of your bucket um, that will keep debris and stuff from falling into it. And then drill a small, if the, if the lid happens to be really tight, has an airtight seal, make sure you drill a small hole in the lid so that way air has a way of getting into the bucket and does not create a vacuum in there and hold up the water from coming down into your rack. We have the rack I pushed into place here in the in the room. We got the bucket here at the top. Have it connected and have all the nozzles adjusted and drop down through the wire. And it is ready for rats. It's ready to go. I'll show you here. The nozzle I'm gonna push on the little nipple here. And we got back up a little bit, we got water. So we're working good and it's all done.